Hello, friend. Uh, today, we're going to talk about some movies that I watched on Troma Now and then one I watched on Amazon Prime. On Troma Now, I watched Rabid Grannies and I watched um, Six Sock Puppets from Outer Space. And on um, Amazon Prime... I watched Amityville No Escape and so first off was Rabid Grannies and this is a um, movie where it's about a family coming together for, for uh, this old woman's birthday party and they're all like terrible people and they're just out to make, get money from the old woman they're all just like shown to be pretty evil and like shallow people and um they uh they all get to the mansion and they're having dinner and just kind of being assholes and then um, there's a package arrives, a gift from a mysterious unknown person and they open it up and like, uh, and then pretty soon they turn demonic and turn into these like demonic creatures that like, uh, chase all the people through the house and kill all of the relatives and uh, this is a really effective horror movie. It was scary. Um, it made me think of my grandma a lot. I had to call her after I watched it. Um, but it it was a little hard for me to understand because it was like a, a, some kind of like a European movie or something. And uh, there was no subtitles. There's I don't don't believe there's a subtitle option on Troma now. But um, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the special effects. I thought it was really well done and scary and atmospheric and everything. So definitely check that one out. And, that, and that's the movie that's been in the catalog forever. Like I remember seeing it at the trauma booth at comic-con when i was like 14 or even younger than that i saw it for sale even back then and i've owned a lot of trauma movies but for some reason i never saw this i never saw rabid grannies never owned it but uh i enjoyed it i thought it was a good movie um also up next is sick Sock Puppets from Outer Space. And this movie is really cool. It's all, uh, For the majority of it, all puppets, there's... Uh, there's I only can think of seeing one human person in it. But it's all special effects and sets. And uh, it had good computer effects. Uh, it reminded me a lot of Bad Taste, or not Bad Taste, but rather Meet the Feebles by Peter Jackson. Because that was also a, a puppet movie with uh, the great sets and special effects. And some of it uh, really reminded me of the movie Meet the Feebles, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. I love it. And this movie was so creative. I really... Um, like to hear more information about it, like what the budget was and how they made it. It was a foreign movie <coughs> and the subtitles were very small. So I was trying to read like maybe every fourth or fifth subtitle to try and follow along, but it would have strained my eyes to squint the whole time trying to read the subtitles. So for most of it, I just kind of took in the visuals and really appreciated it that on, on that level. Like, I think it's so amazing how people can be so creative and make such an interesting looking movie on a budget and everything. 
Uh, definitely a really neat movie. Like I say, I, I don't, I can't really tell, I don't really know much of the story, but it's just all of these puppets and they're on spaceships and doing different stuff and really neat, fun movie to look at. I'd like to see it get dubbed. I think that would be really cool um, to see this movie get dubbed, especially if it was like, by comedians or like improv comedians or something I think it could be really funny and the visuals are definitely there um, and then finally uh, just tonight I watched um, Amityville No Escape and this is a movie directed by Henry Couteau somebody whose career I've been watch following for a little while now I've uh, made micro investments in a couple of his movies and uh, I think he's he's like one of my favorite filmmakers a real up-and-comer uh, doing well for himself as a professional filmmaker and uh, this movie is pretty good um, it it has great nudity that's what I love about it and why I love independent movies they I think they're kind of just better than Hollywood and that they um, have good nudity and stuff in this movie I had a couple good nude scenes and uh, right off the bat so it got an A plus a thumbs up right off the bat from me and then I was w watching it and um, it had some good really great performances there was a woman speaking into a VHS camcorder like talking to her husband who was in the military and I thought she did an excellent job uh, must have been a pretty challenging role and I thought she did great and um, and then the rest of it is kids doing a college college kids doing a project where they're trying to talk about what they're afraid of out by a campfire but there's also the Amityville house and there's a ghost of a little girl and uh, about two thirds of the way in I just fucking blacked out I didn't I don't I don't remember what happened I just had like a schizophrenic moment and just uh, fucking lost track of what, what, what was going on in the movie but still solid um I think it's a really cool thing for Henrik's career to get to work on a franchise like Amityville. Uh, I think that that's a real step up in his career, so that was exciting. And it's really cool to have films that I really like um, just included with Prime where you don't have to pay extra to watch them. That's a real benefit for me, really cool thing, so... Definitely check out all three of these movies. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.